Hi, this is Dr. Ted Vicky coming to you live from the Consumer Electronics Show, day two, in Las Vegas. Today I was on a panel discussion with an interesting company called Gobi. Their CEO let me wear the device. It is your typical wearable tracking steps and sleeps and, and what have you. But what's interesting is this wearable claims to be able to track what you eat based on blood flow through the sensor. So I wanted to try it out and you'll see here 1800 my Penn State math tells me that's six o'clock at 7.30, I went down and had some ramen noodles, and for science sake, I had a Coca-Cola. Believing that the liquid form of sugar would spike sooner than a meal would. You see over here, this was during the conference, I had a bag of pretzels right about here, and what the app company says is it takes a while for the food to digest, thus the long tail when it comes to caloric intake. Now those of you that track wearables know that tracking food is probably the hardest thing to do. Some people take pictures of it, some people are meticulous making food diaries, putting it online, something like MyFitnessPal. But if this works, and if this is truly accurate, wearing this wearable might be a game changer. Now, before talking with the company I got online, I did a lot of research, and there are a lot of skeptics out there, and quite honestly, I was a skeptic as well. <clears throat> but they did let me wear the watch, wearable watch. And if you look, right about 7.30, when I sat down to eat, it looks as though there was a spike. And then I'm assuming that this is uh, an additional increase in the fluid measurement through my wrist from the both the, the Coca-Cola and then the ramen soup that I had. I'm going to assume that this is my walk back to the room. So interesting app, interesting technology. It's out of Russia. Like I said, if it works, it could be a game changer. I wanted to share it with you. Well, let me know what you think. Retweet this with a comment and tell me if this is bad or real.